Don't trade on borrowed conviction. I've experienced many traders and investors buying a stock because some insider or a promoter or a fund buys a stock. There are certain points one needs to take care before copycatting such trades. Say for example, a promoter has purchased 5,000 shares on a particular day and the, and the next day you come to know about it on a Twitter handle or exchange website. Firstly, there should be alignment of time frames of the trade. If the promoter is buying and wants to hold for eternity and you are looking for a 15 day trade, the buy trigger is not for you. Secondly, one should understand the reason for selling and buying. Many times funds or promoters buy in one account and sell in another account for rebalancing. Now this does not change their view about the company in question. Many times people see only one side of the coin and take decisions accordingly, which completely fails the logic of the trade. Thirdly, how big is the investment compared to the funds at hand or compared to the present stake of the fund? For example, if an HNI fund or a promoter or any insider is making a commitment of say less than 5% of his total fund value irrespective of the absolute amount or is increasing stake from 20% to say 21% then the commitment is not too big at present prices. One cannot bet his fortune based on this kind of commitment. Rakesh Junjunwala always used to, stay, used to say, one cannot trade on borrowed conviction. Now take these insider or institutional buying cues as support data and not the main triggers.